The idea of talking about whether we can transcend negative emotions is something that I'm wanting to talk about today. Um, I feel the reason I'm, I'm going down this track with the videos and they and if you've been watching the videos you'll see that they're kind of following a trail is to in a sense honestly share what's going on with myself and my work um, and hopefully offer in a sense some pointers that can help you on, on, on your journey or on your realization of what you truly are. Um, fear is something that's been coming up a lot of recently um, and while fear is coming up and I'm wondering how do I go forward with this or with that or you know what have you what I'm finding is the work that I'm doing is still continuing content is still coming out words are still being said things are being written people are showing up they're coming to meetings and everything um, which has made me look at this fear that's been coming up now rather than sort of saying what's just happening and let's just forget about it I've decided to kind of in a sense look at this fear and fully accept it and to really in a sense feel it in feel it in the very core of my being and what I found is this fear has been freeing I remember a very dear friend of mine once saying that it comes to the point where you meet every emotion and it's almost like you say well just bring it on because you find the freedom in that emotion um, and fear is one of those emotions which which offers us a massive opportunity to realize what we are. We're just conditioned to walk away from it um, because to turn into it, because our mind has told us all these stories and you know we have all these thoughts about what will happen if we fully meet ourselves and our fears and everything, we tend to scamper away. And what then happens is, as I said in a previous video, we're standing there at the edge of the abyss, looking down, taking an incredible amount of pain not realizing that to let go and to just fall into it, to jump into it, offers us the very realization, offers us the very understanding that we crave when we seek. Um, and quite possibly one of the purest, almost fastest ways is, is fear, um, because we tend to resist. And then what happens is when we resist, the fear persists, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And rather than, you know, deal with it once and for all and be brave what we do is we create these coping strategies we know we we then take on another meditative practice and we touch something and and we walk away from it and what we fail to realize is that that fear is offering us a massive opportunity as to what we actually truly are as i said just earlier on it's it's freeing in the truest sense of the word because it allows the stories that have been built up you know one of the things with realization you know a lot of people feel that i'll wake up and that's the end of my seeking i i feel that's where the beginning is but it's not seeking then it's seeing and it's seeing the programs the conditioning the emotions that we've put in place to stop ourselves from realizing what we are so realization is something that's constantly happening and when fear comes up in that realization, it's offering us an opportunity to deepen our experience of what we actually are. Um, that deepening can sometimes be terrifying. You know, it can be, frankly, downright ugly and, and messy. And we do have this tendency in the spiritual community to sugarcoat things and, and bypass them. And we don't tend to talk as much about being afraid or having insecurities or, you know, not knowing which way to go because realization happens and people then think that a realized being whatever that means must act and feel in a certain way and you get some people start talking in the third person well you know who is where and, and and that's great but it doesn't really offer much by way of an understanding a hope a point or a guidance or whatever and it's something that in the last couple of months in my video, I've, in my videos, I've been talking more about acceptance because that's an area I'm, in a sense, looking more into. Fear, because there's fear coming up and yet within this fear coming up, there's, there, there's some freedom there that shows me more, but at the same time, a belief that whatever's happening right now is what's meant to be happening and I'm able to cope and I'm finding more about myself. There's more resiliency there. There's more, more of this wanting to actually talk you know and 
you know, we, we've, we've talked myself when people are meetings and stuff, and I see my, I, there's something I will always talk about in my meetings, and it's a book by a man called Roland Vernon, and he wrote a book called Star of the East, and it was about Jiddu Krishnamurti. And what was incredible was when Jiddu Krishnamurti decides to leave the Theosophical Society and start speaking, the passage of the book that really resonates with me is that as he's coming out, he's not in a sense the polished speaker that we all found him to be, you know, in the end. But here's a young man just coming out into the world and it's raw power. It's just raw, but there's a resonance there. And what I feel would have been absolutely incredible is if that time had been documented because we would have seen that a lot of teachers go through these problems. They go through this fear. They go through not having their shit right and not knowing all the answers. And yet sometimes because there's this whole idea of a, let's put on a public face when we're doing our satsangs or when we're doing our meetings, that these things that could really help people aren't really talked about, that sometimes there's a lot of fear. Sometimes you're terrified. Sometimes you really don't know which way you're going. Sometimes you're turning around to the people around you looking for support and thinking, well, where do I go with this? Well, you know, that's what I want to try and do in these videos is to, in a sense, kind of just talk honestly about what's going on in, in this journey right now where it, there's a movement. There's like, you know, there's more people turning up. There's more people I'm speaking to. And I know there'll come a point where videos will no, be, no doubt be very slick, well-produced well and expansionist and, you know, there's just this happening, which will be fine because it will just be a different crowd. But at this moment in time, it just feels to kind of in a sense be a bit more intimate talk about the things that concern me and concern the people around me at this moment in time. And fear's one of those things that we're so conditioned to turn away from it. You know, we don't hear things like, free, you know, fear can be freeing. How can it be freeing? Because we've been told it's a scary thing. We need to walk away from it. We need to develop these coping mechanisms for all of these negative emotions. We've got to think so positively that, you know, we eradicate this. It's almost like saying we want it to be perpetual sunshine but we never want it to be nighttime. It's almost like saying we want duality to be out of the window completely, and yet everything is set up in a way whereby it promotes duality. It's an invitation, and yet what we're saying is we don't even want the invitation. And fear is one of those invitations that allows us to really get to the heart of what we are by tearing away at the stories, by, by really tearing away at everything that we, we feel we know about ourselves. And it can be scary, be terrifying and it can take its time you know over the last year or so the whole idea of acceptance and and fear and what have you has been a, a, a perpetual companion and yet this perpetual companion has been such a gift because there's so many things I'm now doing that I didn't think I could actually do so if you want to know who you actually are accept it all accept that fear accept that negativity Accept the fact that as you accept it, it will transform and you'll see more of what you are. Um, I remember an Indian sage saying that as this realization happens, it's like what you'll find is things are still being let go of, programs that no longer serve you and what have you will continue to drop away. And I found that there's this continual dropping and almost like in a sense, the purest, most efficient, fastest way has been fear because it's like a scalpel it's not a hammer approach it's it's almost like a scalpel it cuts but in this cutting it's clarifying and it's it's bringing a level of clarity and making me realize that a lot of what i thought has to be let go of so there's this constant letting go in this evolution of me as whatever i am now um as a speaker as a teacher as a you know whatever um, and it's humbling and it's something that I, I kind of want to share because I feel it's like important to talk about these things because sometimes this wanting to know yourself, these journeys can be quite scary, confusing, terrifying places where you really don't know what's going on. And sometimes it's not, you know, the teacher isn't able to grab everybody individually. You know, the first teacher I was with, had so many followers, so you weren't gonna get one-on-one -on -one time. And there was a lot of just observation that was occurring naturally, not as a technique. And I was having to figure things out as I went along, so it was a very scary, terrifying time for me. 
you know, he could walk into a room and it would just send me spiraling. Um, and I think now though, you know, we've got the internet, we've got social media, it's, we can, you know, we can talk about this thing. We, we, we can bring this out because sometimes th there is confusion as to, hold on, everybody here is all blissed out and everybody gets it and I don't get it. I'm confused, I'm scared, I'm fearful. I'm, I'm traveling, I've no idea what the guy is talking about. And it's okay. You know, there, there's something, you know, I remember reading once, it was like, you know, the best of teachers is the most lost of teachers, or it may have been something that I said myself. And that lost teacher accepts and, and is confused and is angry and is joyful and is blissful and is experiencing the entire spectrum of thought, feeling and emotion because liberation is, 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 is freedom totally which allows us to accept in a way whereby we're living you know if anything there's more humanity there if anything it's what it truly means to be human you know a very famous Sufi was once asked you know how old he was and he replied he was four years old and he was in the later you know part of his years and for him that point of realization is when he started living you know prior to this seeking is not living. It's it's an avoidance. It's an avoidance of accepting what actually is. And when what actually is is accepted, then this whole rainbow, this whole gambit of colours and emotions and everything which is so alive and so real time happen and we see more and more of what we actually truly are. So that's that for that video. Um, I'm gonna be recording more videos um they're coming out now fortnightly so you know if you like you know what you're hearing or you have any suggestions for videos you know please do let me know subscribe to the channel um i welcome feedback it'd be great to hear what people think um and, and where it can go um there is a mailing list as well the link is down below so if you subscribe to the mailing list as well as a as a, as a bit of an incentive you get a free mp3 um, guided meditation recorded by myself. There are plans to do more in the future, so watch this space, as they say. Um, but yes, if you subscribe to the channel, literally hit the bell icon as well. It will notify you every time I release a video because I've recently found, I think, with the way social media is happening at the moment, I can release something and then a lot of people are unaware. So I'm having to kind of re-release and I'm saying, well, you know, sign up to a newsletter, you know, you'll get the exclusive content that's coming out, writings as they come out on the day that they come out. And in terms of video footage, great, come on to YouTube. And then obviously there's all the different social medias that I have as well. Uh, and obviously the events page, if you're wanting to, to obviously meet me in person, um, because there are plans now that there is, you know, full days happening. There's now plans to put on retreats and intensives in which we can really sit and explore you know, what this whole idea of seeking is, this whole idea of self-realization and, and really how we can actually realize who we actually are and, and, and then just, in a sense, deepen in that realization of, of our true nature. Mm -hmm.